Dave, Dave Webster, worked around Liverpool all my life, producing sculpture, commercial sculpture. Uh, we're actually in Latham, which is about 16, 18 miles from Liverpool. Um, in my relationship with um, Matthew Street, uh, where the cavern is in the Iron Door, as kids that's where we used to go. The wife used to sag school to go to the dinner time sessions and that really was where it was all happening. Well, the, the original statue was based on the one, a photograph of John in Hamburg. And it went down okay, went down pretty well, but then it got vandalised, somebody smashed all the face in. But I did manage to repair this, and, and that's this one. It's, um, it's the quiff. Lennon looks, you know, quite a slim face, 17, 18. So I did another one, which was more the sort of Hamburg period. The mop top thing was still popular, really. So I uh, produced that one. Same sort of features with a different hairstyle. And that was the one that we put back on. And then, oh, this one is um, more sort of Abbey Road period. Obviously, these are all got to be painted black. The last one I did was um, for the Hard Day's Night Hotel, which was this one, which was the period he seemed happy again back in New York. And I thought I'd, I'd like to maybe do a couple more that would encompass his whole life. So I looked and found um, some photographs of when he was six, first going to school with the school cap on. Um, and that was the period, uh, Alice in Wonderland period, so I tried to encompass that in the sculpture. I then made uh, Just William, he went through that period, and that's when you can, st you can see he's getting mis mischievous. You can just see it in his face, he's ready to have a go. Um, I, I think if you, if you look at the photographs, um, and that's the only reference we've got, you really can see his, his sort of his life going through all the different um, periods when he's he's ill, he's having problems, drugs, when he's overjoyed, when he's happy, and that's the sort of stuff I wanted to try and capture, because pop stars, film stars, wherever the hell, you only um, get what is pushed at you. But I think with John Lennon and the Beatles. Coming from Liverpool, it's much more familiar. I was there in that area as a kid. And uh, I also feel people talk about genius. And I think you can actually see something coming from John Lennon. He's sure of himself, arrogant, uh, but that's, he knew where he was going. He knew what he wanted. He might not have known what it was, but he knew, he knew there was something that he was after. And I think you can see that from a very early age in his face. So the last one that I'm going to do is about 16, according to Rod, who was in the quarry man. And um, I just want to try and encompass that, you know, having a crack, really getting involved. He's chosen his future path and he's on the way. The trick is to make the armature smaller than the head. Because once you put the clay on, if the armature starts coming through, you've got a problem. You've either got to whack it with a hammer or something. So you try and make it smaller and then get the proportions and the sizes off my rough sketch. So I'll just undo a bit of clay. So the clay, I've worked it so it's, it's nice and soft, but it doesn't stick to your hands. If it's too sticky, you struggle. If it's too hard, you struggle. So you just want it really malleable. And uh, so they meld together. When you put the pieces on, they meld together. So I'll start at the bottom and we start building the weight. I actually love clay. It's a fantastically satisfying medium. And when you start getting a, a result and you tweak it, it's great to work with. And it's very, very flexible. The, the thing to do is get the, get the bulk on first under, underneath the final form. So this, you know, this bit's quick. Symmetry is important as well, so I always try to um, keep, you know, sort of keep both sides going. For instance, you know, that one's that, that's a bit weak there now, so we'll build a bit on that and get the shape of the skull. Well, when I'd added all the clay very quickly on the armature, just to show you how it was done, 
I then worked out um, the sort of pose of the head and from that I build on the clay. I sort of do it slightly the wrong way. I build the clay on and then cut it away. Some people build it up, build it up, build it up until they reach the point of these pins and then that's the finish sort of size. But I like to put it on and when I started off in the art business I uh, was a wood carver and that's moving material away. And I, I can't help myself, I tend to put it on and then take it away to get the finished result. So I've put in a sort of where the ears are, where the eyes are, the centre of the head and these little pegs to give me the dimensions of my little sketch I've made of, of John there and I'm trying to pick up this where he's leaning forward into the mic in the first Rosebury Street gig. So I want him sort of like slightly leaning forward, a big quiff and just having a bit of fun. So this is made under size to the finished one so I can build that up now and get the expression I want. Make sure the ears are in the right place, make sure the mass of the hair is about right and then I can play with the, the collar and all the rest of it later on. So basically that's all I'm doing now is just adding the clay, getting it roughly to shape. So the sculpture will have eight pieces from when he was six to when he was in the happy period in New York and I'm hoping to have caught that thread in his life. <laughs>